Hello, everybody, and welcome to ICP third year anniversary celebrations. It's an honor to have Maxim Balashevich here with us at Divinity HQ. Good to see you, Maxim. Thank you, Gustav, for inviting me. Uh, just for people who don't know you, would you mind introducing yourself, telling, telling us a little bit about Sentiment, your company? Mm. Um, so Sentiment, in a, in a nutshell, is a market and religious platform where we aggregate, collect, uh, and present uh, different sources of data in a way that uh, for investor or researcher or journalist is uh, better to understand the dynamics of the market. And the source of data is uh, on-chain social death activity uh, and uh, some financial uh, part of the data, like derivative data. So, and we build it uh, for quite some time. Yeah, so you've been delivering crypto intelligence solutions now since 2017. True. How would you describe the evolution of uh, crypto intelligence? Okay. Um, that's uh, actually it's a very good uh, it's a very good question. Uh, the moment we uh, started working on it in seventeen, uh, there was nothing, and now there is a lot. So the evolution is obviously here, and it goes like this: that um, we started uh, uh, researching, collecting, and understanding what is the uh, needed piece of information, and we came in our case, okay, you need to have uh, on-chain social death activity to make a holistic view on every project like ICP. For we will talk more about it. Also, it's about the whole uh, ecosystem. But now, uh, seven years later, uh, you have very good providers for ancient data, or you have uh, mm -hmm. no providers for social uh, data as well, even though less ancient, much more. Uh, for depth activity also, I think there is one more uh, team. So the evolution goes now, uh, how do we cluster the data? How do we label it properly uh, so we can go deeper? And how do we give uh, more power and ownership to uh, people to build on top of this data because the ecosystem is growing very fast. Non-team can cover everything. Yeah, like. So it's gone from getting the data out there to how sophisticated can you be in providing it in, in different ways? Yes, yes, yes. And how good you, are you, you are in uh, engaging community of builders on top of your data, which was not... Uh, it was an original idea when I came 17, uh, uh, try to build an ecosystem. Yeah. Uh, but at that time, no technology now, it really, you, you can really do a lot. Yeah, so the evolution goes pretty fast. Yeah. Amazing. Um, and I'm wondering, do you see now more data driven decisions in the crypto space or is it stayed the same? True. True. This is a uh, good that you mentioned, uh, indeed, uh, um, back then, whenever you read uh, reports or tweets or prediction, it was. I know, 200 uh, days more than average or something. It's very simple. Nowadays, you read very complex. I'm not going into, even to extreme way. I investigate very fast if there's a hack or there is some big movements, uh, who was the source, where it goes. But generally, uh, prediction even for, for uh, uh, Bitcoin, uh, you have a list of 20, 30 metrics and people do make decisions based on, I don't say everyone, mm -hmm. still there is a majority uh, who make it, uh, mm -hmm relatively randomly or based on emotion, but there is a, a rapidly growing and built-in group of people who rely on data, especially institutions. They build everything around the data and uh, this reliance on data increased really a lot. Yeah, I see it much more than before. Yeah. And obviously it's key to identifying trends. Yeah. And I'm wondering what kind of trends are you excited about in crypto? Oh, if an, uh, it's shortly, uh, you know, we were called sentiment. So we all be called uh, about uh, behavior analytical measuring crowd sentiment. It's uh, now it's uh, simple and complex at the same time. Uh, if it's taken uh, on a bigger scale, it's all about ETF, Ethereum, accepted or accepted. And uh, if yes, what will follow next? Does it mean that the rest will be legalized? And of course, uh, everything around. Uh, macroeconomic situation. So it's in a bigger scale. You always need to keep attention on bigger scale, yeah, because the market moves on a big trends. Of course, there is, uh, or people believe there is an exception of meme coins that always move up, but I don't think it's a true. As everything moves together, more or less. Yeah. So with AI being such a massive trend uh -huh. at the moment, yeah. and uh, a huge theme that Definity are uh, focused on in our new roadmap. Yeah. How do you see crypto intelligence playing into that? Well, first I must say uh, this uh, new roadmap, or would you 
I showed me before. Uh, actually, it's uh, quite impressive. I really want to dig in and do it tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, during our event. Uh, but uh, it's uh, natural. Now, we, I, I think some players beyond experimentation stage, they try to deploy it in real uh, productive and uh, this future feed or flow of data is processed by AI models. Uh, we do it on our side too. Actually, some of the metric is uh, made because of AI, but uh, of course, everything uh, it says uh, in our case, very in house. You know, we need to preserve some things. Um, where um, if there is a time and it looks like it's coming, uh, the CI models can be stored in in a in temperate way in, in a blockchain, uh, which ICP, as far as I understand, uh, is uh, about to present or like push forward. Then it's a really interesting uh, a shift of um, mm. Web3 ecosystem. So there is a way you could work on the model itself and Likely, there is a way model needs data, yeah? mm -hmm. uh, how even the data can be built uh, in, uh, in the scope of ecosystem and the one who can combine it first, uh, second and third, I don't think there'll be only one winner as they can uh, capture a very big uh, part of the market. And it's very exciting, interesting, but no one has done it yet. So it's very interesting, but um, the field is open. I need to show yeah. you the demo. Yes. Nick Williams. Yes. 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 Demonstrating uh, AI on a smart contract, yep. fully on chain. This is a really uh, unexpected. And yeah, we'll look into the, the roadmap a bit more. This is a huge theme going forward. Cool. ICP. And uh, so really excited about that. Another theme on the roadmap yep. is chain fusion technology. What is it? This is the technology that ICP uses to, um, to achieve direct and secure interoperability with all other blockchains. So there's other blockchains as well. Yeah. So smart contracts and mm -hmm. ICP can mm -hmm. use threshold cryptography to communicate directly with smart contracts on Ethereum, for example. Oh, and then you need to show me it as well. We, but, we will show you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so another example is that smart contracts and ICP can actually own a Bitcoin wallet natively on the Bitcoin network. Okay, I, I think this one, uh, yeah, I think you told me it last time. Yeah. I remember we're talking about, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's cool, yeah. So, this is when the moment we achieved this state when uh, different uh, uh, blockchain or ecosystems, which uh, every of them is focused on specific um, uh, part, of course there are overlaps, but uh, there are specific, you can identify what is Bitcoin for, Ethereum for, ICP for, Solana for, I don't even call. There are a lot. There's uh, no, uh, just too many, to name all of them. And uh, uh, if they can communicate freely, or the more freely they can communicate with each other, uh, I mean, the pie gets bigger, right? Right. This is our goal. This is the, the vision that we have. Uh, divinity, I think you share it. It's a multi-chain future mm -hmm. where people and projects on different chains can utilize the benefits on, on different chains. Yep. So what's next on the sentiment road, right? Uh, on, on the ultimate uh, level, uh, we're definitely uh, moving forward uh, to um, gamify Web3 market intelligence. Gamify because it should be not too much boring. Working with data is... <laughs> it should have some fun moment and uh, an increased amount of data and metrics or, or labeling will soon release uh, what we've done on our site for on-chain labels. It's quite impressive for this event. And uh, social data, um, do we still keep increasing and go into other sources or we try to uh, build um, mm -hmm creation of social data inside our ecosystem. So this is what we're uh, mostly focused and uh, uh, one important part, working directly with uh, partners uh, uh, like with ICP because so far uh, many things uh, can be done better, deeper, and sometimes faster uh, when uh, project systems are working together. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is 
or where we're going towards. Yeah, really happy to have ICP having a uh, closer integration with hmm. sentiment. Yep. So that community can see more and more ICP metrics. I think there are about 160 data points already. Uh, uh, is there a quite time? Yeah, but you know, financial, yep. uh, developer stats, social stats. Social stats, yes, exactly. But we're going to have a lot more coming soon. Yeah, especially looking forward into Unchi stats and beyond basics, yeah, mm-hmm. like the Elixir uh, users or, or wallets, uh, it's one thing or amount of new. But you can really see uh, amount of uh, big stakeholders or who's accumulating, distributing, and then uh, holding on exchanges and uh, velocity and movement where uh, where attention and commitments are flowing. That's a really interesting stuff, which uh, I personally analyze when making decisions. Mm-hmm. And I, uh, I believe we will make it. All the moment we make it, it was very interesting to look into our underlying ICP dynamics. Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks very much for coming, Maxim. Thanks for inviting us. That's my regards to the Sentiment team. Yes, we'll do. All the best. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Good event.